Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today I'm here to share a quick and easy recipe for King Ranch macaroni and cheese. So I live here in Texas and most people have had some version of King Ranch casserole. Now usually it's served in a casserole with either corn tortillas or corn chips. But today my version uses elbow macaroni. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're gonna need some macaroni and you're going to need some cooked chicken. Now I prefer dark meat, so that's what I have used here. And I've got chicken thighs that I cooked and shredded. You're gonna need some cheddar cheese and Velveeta cheese some bell pepper. Now, if you prefer to use one colored bell pepper over the other, that's totally fine, but I like a little color in this casserole. You're gonna need some Rotel cream of chicken, sour cream. You're going to need some cumin and chili powder. And you're going to need some onions. I'm not gonna use all of those, but you're gonna need an onion. All right, so if you want to see how this quick and easy recipe comes together, stay tuned. All right, so I've got some butter going in my cast iron skillet. And um, I wanted to mention to you that you're going to want to use an oven safe skillet because this is basically kind of a one pot dish. I'm adding my onions in. I'm going to add my peppers in. And I'm just gonna let these cook down for about five, 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. Okay, so my vegetables have cooked down. Now I'm going to add in my rotel. And my Velveeta. And I'm just gonna let this cook down until the cheese melts. All right, so our cheese melted out. Now I'm just adding in some cream of chicken soup. Give that a stir. I'm gonna add in my chili powder and cumin. And my sour cream. and my chicken. And once I get this all combined, I'm going to stir in my macaroni noodles. Okay, so I added my pasta to the skillet and I have a 12 inch skillet and I did have to work a little bit to, to get everything in there, but it will fit, trust me. If you have a larger skillet, that would be even better. And so now I am just topping this with cheddar cheese. It's going to be so good. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna let this bake for about 20, 30 minutes or until the cheese is all nice and melty. Okay, so here is the casserole. I ended up baking it for half an hour. It's been out of the oven for about 15 minutes and I scooped some out so you guys could see the inside and here it is. So gooey and creamy, it is so delicious and I have some here on my plate as well so you guys could see it. But as you uh, could see, it's a really quick and easy casserole comes together very easily. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.